All right, now the rest of UFC 137. Uh, there was Scott Jorgensen defeating Jeff Curran, unanimous decision. Now, Jorgensen's one of my guys. I love that guy. Uh, now, this one, he was able to get by the, the veteran, the mm. wily veteran of Jeff Curran, but it was not Scott's finest hour. Yeah. He he uh, he won, He he, but it was just... He did enough. He yeah, got, he, he just did enough. He, he got the win under the belt. But yeah, and it was a big stage, a big moment for him in the UFC. The pay-per-view and, card, yeah. main card. That's but true. it didn't it didn't impress too many people. Not at all. Now the uh, now bringing in Hatsu Hayoki in the other one. This was a highly touted or is a highly touted yeah. fighter. If you saw our uh, preview show talking about the uh, accolades that Hayoki yeah. uh, um, uh, brings to the table, him coming in, making his UFC debut, defeating George Roop, split decision. It, it really showed. Now, Roop, i got to hand it to Roop. Yeah. He hung. Mm-hmm. He hung in there, but Hioki was just the better, more dominant fighter, and you, you saw why. That, that This is going to be interesting to see as Hioki uh, uh, climbs up the ranks of this weight class. He's a uh, he's a force. He he could definitely be a force. He didn't. Have, he was a little. Yeah, I would say the, the big rusty deal himself. is. I don't know if they made uh, if they thought Roop was going to put in a performance like he did because mm-hmm. I mean split decision. You know he was very very close. I thought it was razor thin, and I thought he did enough to you know Hidoki Hidoki is that it? Uh, Hidoki. It did enough to win, but uh, man, what a, a great performance! I think in a loss, Roop put it put together a great performance because. The uh, deck was stacked against him. Yeah. I mean, when you just read off, this guy's the champion of this, that, and the other, and then there's Rube. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and he was supposed to just get walked on and kind of be this coming out party. And uh, and Rube made it very difficult. Uh, Hioki moving uh, uh, up and along the weight class. But Rube, I think, this wasn't so much a step back as a, yeah. hey, I can hang with some of the big guys. Here, yeah. So we'll see. All right, in the pre- preliminary card, uh, Donald Cerrone defeats uh, Dennis Seaver via submission, rear naked choke. This was kind of a bit of a, a surprise. Cerrone is, uh, you know, looking real strong. Surprised at who? Well, I mean, Seaver is a is a tough guy. I like Seaver a lot, but uh, Cerrone... Actually, I picked in the third round. I thought he would submit him in the third round. Round one, and that yeah. now Cerrone also, because of this, is set up with a Nate Diaz fight is going to be his next one, so that'll be an interesting uh, matchup. Bart Palazuski wins a knockout of the night, and it's not TKO, baby. It is KO over Tyson Griffin, and that was our fear, is what Tyson Griffin's going to show up. Uh, the the workhorse or the underachiever, and unfortunately for Tyson's. But do you remember he, he also came in too heavy? Yeah. And then he couldn't cut the weight. They gave him another like hour, two hours to cut the final like two or three pounds. Couldn't do it. You know, lopped and, off a foot to make weight. Yeah, he never made weight, and then um, and then just got annihilated. Yeah. And sometimes that's the case. If you kind of plan it wrong, yeah. you come in just too weak. Yeah, yeah. And the preliminary card, Brandon Vera buried. On the Facebook preliminary card. Dude, did you see how much money he made? No, what was it? Was it was like money? 120 grand. Wow. Well, I he think still got trying to big, get through that yeah, contract. He still got now. that big contract. I mean, oh. that's amazing. Uh, anyway, he defeats uh, Elliot Marshall uh, via unanimous decision 29 28, but it was just. <sighs> that's not going That's not gonna do it. That's well, Especially at that rate. I'm surprised they haven't cut him and then re signed him yeah. to a uh, minimum wage contract that uh, Dana is so famous for. But. Yeah, but it, it's terrible because that's that's who Brandon has become. Yeah, you know, a guy who can just eke out a decision, especially against a fighter that he should have finished. Oh yeah, and he needs to finish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's and the rest of the preliminary card, I won't even bother because let's face it, people, you don't care, we don't care. Moving on, let's take a look ahead on our next video clip.